Yeah, so while I'm not really into cosplays nor fan arts, mm. yeah, I do see them occasionally on Twitter or other SNS. And yeah, I do enjoy seeing them. Yeah, I mean, same. You know, there's lots of franchises that I like and you know, follow people on Twitter and stuff like that. Mm. Um, but yeah, these kind of rules are always a little bit worrying. Right. It's easy to see both sides, you know, because obviously if you go from the opinion of the company, right, they created this character that gets lots of attention and mm. love from the community, right? And then other people, even if they're fans or whatever, if they start to like use that character in inappropriate ways, or maybe they want to make money from the company's character, you know, mm. they're kind of potentially losing out on revenue. So that's kind of, I guess, the standpoint of uh, the franchise of Nier in this mm -hmm. circumstance. Mm -hmm. um, but the, the main kind of rule that has got a lot of people talking is this... Um, this thing of like not showing the IP in any kind of uh, mor mor morally kind of grey mm. area. And basically what that means is don't make anything that's too sexual. Because mm. I don't know if you've played this game or not, but the, the latest game in this franchise, I think it's the most recent version, is a Nier Automata. Mm. And the character is like a cyborg girl. Mm. And she looks like kind of like an anime girl. Yeah, I think this, I, I've seen the character. It's like black like, yeah, headband yeah. on her mm. eyes. And, uh, you know, I mean, you use your imagination for the, the standard anime, you know, teenage girl kind of looking character, right? So you could imagine that there's a lot of people online who would kind of, you know, like the character and then start creating questionable content, mm -hmm. <laughs> should we call it? Um, so that's kind of, I guess, what the company's trying to say mm. at that point. <laughs> it's interesting because uh, I haven't played Nier, mm. Nier series yet, so I'm not sure like how, I mean, what what he really means, mm. you know. Well, it's, again, I've actually not played this, but I know a bit about it. It's kind of set in like a very post-apocalyptic world. Mm. And in this automata game, it's like, she's kind of like a cyborg, I think. If there's any fans listening and I'm, I'm wrong, then please correct me. But mm. she's kind of like a cyborg, kind of half human. And she has to kill a lot of, like, bad guys, as you do in, like, an action game, right? Mm. But in the story, it's like she kind of questions herself, at, like, like the way to solve a problem is to kill everybody. Mm. But maybe, like, that's kind of affecting her humanity or what little humanity she, do, she does have. Um, so, like I said, I've not played it, but what I've heard from other people is the story is quite deep mm. and maybe a lot deeper than you might expect from, like, an action game. Oh, so maybe that that's what he means mm. and the kind of concepts he's put in the story right. are a bit, already quite adult, maybe, you could say. Mm. Yeah, because when I saw this new story, I remember that the uh, anime studio, which is making the Evangelion movie series, mm. the company is called Color, mm. and they have also released a similar uh, set of guidelines mm. to kind of like restrict making of uh fan arts right yeah. and or uh cosplays yeah and yeah that has been quite controversial too oh uh, okay yeah and i think yeah what's uh most controversial is quite similar to the points that you've made mm. you know but as a matter of fact the way that guideline was mm. written pretty much scared many fan artists mm -hmm. so there were some uh famous uh, fan artists of you know evangelion characters mm. on uh, twitter uh, officially kind of like announcing that you know they are quitting yeah yeah for fear of getting sued yeah, or, getting sued. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. even though what they're uh doing is you know simply drawing uh evangelion characters in yeah. very high quality mm. you know not not in sexual way yeah yeah but still uh they felt that you know, it's not very safe mm. to keep what they've been doing. Yeah, I mean, that's that kind of highlights the uh, the other point, or the other side of the argument. So what I said earlier about the companies obviously not wanting to lose money. But the reason that like a lot of these companies make so much money is because their fan base is so passionate, exactly. right? Yeah. And if you put too many rules on people saying you can't create a fan art, you can't, you know, you can't do things that like basically are based around your passion for whichever franchise. Mm then I guess really your profits would drop, right? Because people will just lose interest in the series or maybe they love the series, but they don't like the company that makes it. Because mm. they think, oh, you know, like I want I want to love Nia, for example, but, but Square Enix is just too like money hungry or whatever. Mm. And it can really be like damaging in the long run. 
I think so. Mm. But I think the reason why, especially this um, Evangelion news, mm. so controversial is that the fact that its IP mm. became super popular also due to, uh, you know, fans making a bunch of, you know, varieties of fan art. Mm. And I think even they can't deny it, mm. you know. Yeah, I think it's quite a difficult balance you know mm. it's always a matter of degrees mm. you know you have to protect the ip to protect their business but at the same time in order for the brand or the you know series title mm. to grow you need you know power of fans exactly yeah i guess that's really why the rules are quite vague mm. actually right because you know if someone makes something a bit questionable but they they decide it's fine then they won't impose the rule but then it's, it's basically at their discretion should should they impose it or not. Mm. But yeah, as you say, it's it's hard to say what's you know what's right or wrong. It's a very fine balance, um, and I don't see the situation changing. Anytime soon.